It's time to go back to cave, finally, it's been a while since I don't make a video and it's time for good news regarding the development of the next cave version. So let's go straight to the point, if you're creating a game, um, of course there's a lot of things that you need to and you want to create, for example like menus, you want to create like a pause menu, a way to restart the level, to go uh, maybe to have damage and to game over once you die, um, go to the next level, we have, uh, if you're creating like a first, a third person game or top down, where you see the character, you may have like inverse kinematics in the feet, as you can see here, um, a way to go to the next level and all that, maybe you have a main menu, I don't have a next level here, anyways, credits, all that, uh, basic stuff for a game, and it's just annoying to have to create all this every single time, and not only that, I'm talking about simple stuff as well, such as like uh, if you're creating a game, there's a very it's very likely that your game is either a first person game, a third person like this one, or a top down. So you have to create the basics of this mechanics for this game. So in other words, that there's a lot of new things that you may expect to have to do over and over again every time you start the game and in cave my efforts here as the developer is to make sure that you get all the resources and access to everything and every tool to make your life as easy and as fast as possible so i don't want you to waste a lot of time creating um, a bunch of stuff over and over again and one of the reasons this is one of the reasons why i've made uh some time ago a couple of months ago this um initial scene here this is a startup project i call this uh, i call it this way cave engine comes with a demo project which is a demonstration with a bunch of samples for you to learn and understand how to create the engine and it also have this startup project here that do have some ba basic stuff for you to basically um, download and modify change the name and all that and start making your game as a basis but I was not 100% happy with this because while this works and many other engines do this they do have like a startup project you can even choose from the uh, new project how which startup project you want I always felt like I, uh, a game engine could go further in this startup uh, world. So I decided to make Cave Engine really good at this. So I'll close this project here and let's go ahead and create a new project from scratch using Cave and see how the new project, new, new project looks like. <laughs> so I will open Cave. So this is the project manager if you don't know Cave. Um, and if I click here in new project, previously you only had uh, two options here, the project name and the path where the, uh, the project will be stored. And now it's way different. So let's go ahead and click here, new project. And now you can see that I do have an, a brand new um, tab here to create my project. I'd still, I can still select my project name. So YouTube demo one for example and i can still select the path here if i don't select the path it will create at um, app data uh, slash cave engine slash my projects but i can change this of course and now i do have a bunch of new stuff here to allow me to get started a little bit more easy when it comes to making my game so for example i can select a game mode here um, it is third person game by default, but I can change again. I can make an empty game. Oh, I don't want anything. I want to start really from scratch. Okay, your choice. You can do here. Maybe I want a first person game. Here we go. Maybe you want a top down game. And if you want a top down game, you can even have a, a point and click game. So you can literally, of course, point and click where you want to go. Uh, let's go back to third person. And then I have some default stuff here that I can initialize and by the way all this and I do have more stuff here that I will show you in a moment uh, is basically cave asking you hey we want to make a bunch of stuff for you so we don't have to waste your time doing stuff uh, please select what you want us to do for you uh, to get started this is not a rule you can change everything later you can delete everything later you can rewrite your own ways so this is nothing new when it comes to cave features this is just cave engine wanting to give you a very head start in your project so we can select the health bar maybe you want to 
create a different health for your character. It will create a health bar for you. Uh, you want to have a skybox. Cave now will come with a default skybox for you. You can maybe you, you know in advance that you want to create a game with 10 levels. You can do it. Maybe you want to make an open world with only one level. That's fine too. Let's keep it at two. We have extra stuff. Maybe you want to have a terrain in each level. Here you go. Uh, you want to have a portal to go to the next level. It will create that for you. You want to have a damage template, which is like a, maybe a spike that applies damage to the, to the, the player. You want to have this and it will create for you. Maybe you want to have a main menu. Here you go. Maybe you want to have a pause menu and it's over here. And also regarding the interface, because, of course, a bunch of this, for example, the main menu, the pause menu, all that will have a user interface. And Cave just got much better on this regard as well. You can select the default stuff here. Maybe you want flat shaded styles for the button. Maybe you want to have a gradient button. It's good for you to test, of course. Text color, all the, the button default colors. You want Maybe you want to select a different default font. Uh, until now, Cave only, like... Every time it creates a new project, it will load the Montserrat font. I changed that, now it will load Public Sense, but you can go ahead and customize it. You can click here, I'm not going to click, but it will open a, a dialog for you to select a different font, and that's it. And of course, you can add the credits for your game. So, made by Uniday Studio, of course, my studio, you can put whatever you want. And by the way, this is just for Cave to get started for you, it's just for Cave to set up everything. If you want, you can leave this empty and that's it, and then later on you create a better credit. That's it. Uh, but this is just regular stuff. Imagine if you're making a game jam, you're not going to have time to change this afterwards. So go ahead, create everything and click Create Project. So if you click here, it will create the project for you, and it will do all the customizations you asked for. And it even have like a readme here. You can see this is a new project, the new, new project in Cave. It's much different than uh, how it was before. And you will see, welcome to Cave Engine. This is your brand new Cave Engine project called YouTube Demo 1. So this is a generated readme based on your options. And it will basically uh, go ahead and explain to you what everything is about, uh, what was imported, and everything so you can situate yourself and of course uh, if you if you don't want you can go ahead and uh, safely delete readme and that's it um, but it's good to know that you have all that set up and if you, we play this game let's go back to the main menu so it will create this boring menu for you but again this is just a head start for you to start creating your game so if I hit F5 to play the game you can see let me increase the volume there's even sounds here there's a credits made by Uniday Studio. Can quit the game, of course. Let's play again. Can play the game and it will go to the first level. So we selected the third person game. So this is the new default for the third, third person in cave. I can walk, I can run. There's sounds, I can pause the game. Can restart the level, I can go back to the main menu. I can continue or I can quit. Uh, this here reduces my health. So this is the damage, the, the template for this. You can see my health in the top left corner is decreasing. And this is all default. And if I go here, this is a portal to go to the next level. Here you go, level complete. Click here to go to the next level. So this is level two. There's no other level other than because we selected, we wanted to create two levels. So the level two, we're not going to have a portal. And again, you can see this is a terrain. It's a huge terrain. I think it's like maybe one by one kilometers. So it's, yeah, one square kilometer by default, I guess. I'm not sure I need to confirm that. But anyways, it's a huge terrain. Uh, I, it does have damage and all that. So it's a very simple thing, as you can see here. Let's go back, keep the game. Let's go back to level one. And again, I can, this is a, it's all explained by the way, but you can see I do have the damage uh, template created because we selected to do it. We have the portal created and you can see it's basic shapes. Hey, Guilherme, can you create like a, an advanced shape? The idea here is not for Cave to full, uh, to fill your project with a bunch of crap. It's just to get started for you. So you can always go ahead here in the damage uh, template and create a better one, create a different one. But the idea is that you have a customizable uh, project to work on. And by the way, the portal, if I go to properties, oh, it's not here yet. Huh, strange. 
but I'll fix that soon. Uh, it will have, it was supposed to have actually um, a next level property. Anyways, it's not appearing. Oh, it is appearing, but it, it's it's in the wrong thing. Anyways, I'll fix that. Work in progress, but uh, you should be able to see uh, a property here to select the next level in the portal. And again, very simple for you to get started creating your game. So we have the player toolkit. This is new. Uh, let's open the script and it does have a bunch of scripts a bunch of components for for example the foot ik component for the inverse kinematics of the feet it's now separated for you there's a player ui component that handles the health and next level and a bunch of other stuff and there's finally the player controller that handles like the movements simple stuff as well so and of course i can double click the player and customize maybe i don't want the health bar here maybe i want it somewhere else so i can go ahead um, and change it you know I'm free to do whatever I want and maybe I want to delete I want to create a different one maybe I don't like the level complete color it's too bright go ahead and change it the idea here is not to have everything made for you by default is just to g give you a head start so this is basic art uh, for you to get started making your game so the game over yeah the color is bad so I go ahead and change it and it will be better so I like this more Go ahead and play. That's game over here. Oh, by the way, I do have a shortcut to reduce the, the health. Here we go. I have a better game over. So I can change stuff as I want. And now the portal isn't working. Interesting. Anyways, I can change everything as I want and as I wish. Um, and you have everything working for you to get started. I, also, of course, this is the terrain. I can go ahead and... Oops, not the geometry paint. I actually want the terrain too, with the terrain selected, here we go, so maybe I want to paint the terrain, let's do it, let's go ahead and add some erosion here, I love the erosion, so cool, and I can go back and play the game, and I can start making my game, so the idea here is that this will provide you a basic framework for you to create a game, wherever the game is, uh, you have everything set up. Look at the inverse kinematics. You have this by default. And then, of course, you can change the game. You can change the character. So different character to make sure that it fits your game, your needs. So that's it. Let's close this and let's explore a little bit the others. I, I don't think I'll explore all of them, but let's go at least to the top-down game. And I'll enable the point and click. And this time, let's go crazy. I will change the... <laughs> the default, the, the health bar color, let's make this, um, I don't know, green. Let's make this purple for some random reason. Let's create three levels. I want everything, yes. Interface, let's change the interface. I want the base color to be something very crazy. And the text color to be different, and I want the, this to be flat shaded. Anyways, I'm just playing around here. So let's go ahead and create. So, YouTube demo 2, I guess. I'll go ahead and create a project. I need to create a top down game for me. You can see the health looks absolutely, absolutely terrible. And if I go to the main menu, the text here is always also terrible. Um, and it's not visible because I changed, but that's it. That's my choice. And it does have three levels here for you. Very simple. Let's go ahead and play the game. You know, this looks very bad. Jesus Christ. But you can see it's a top-down game all of a sudden. And if I click, you can see it does have, it even have like this debug uh, cube here when I click. And I'm ready to make a top-down game. Maybe I want like a... The, to make the camera more distant for the, the player. Well, no problem, I can create this. Let's see if I can still take damage. You can see my health is reducing. You can pause the game. This looks terrible. <laughs> the, the red buttons. Don't do this, please. Let's see if I can go to the next level. Again. Now I'm level 3. There's nothing else I can do here. So again, we just have... I can manually control with W, E, S, and D. Or I can point and click. Simple top-down stuff. Pause will work. Can go back to main menu. Can start over the game. And this is done for you. Simple as this. Literally. No problem at all. 
right? Let's go ahead and try the the other game. Let's try the the first person game. Where's the first person? I'll keep things simple this time, so I'm not gonna change anything else. It's gonna make YouTube FPS one. Here we go. Very creative with the game name, as you can see. So the first person game is a little bit more simple. It doesn't have a character, uh, but it does have like the basic first person thing for you set up. Oh, it does have an error here. Player comp Python component error. Still work in progress again, but you can see, you get the idea. You can create a different uh, style here, the first person, and you can have everything working and get started in your project. So this is the whole point of this. And by the way, if I create a new scene, uh, it will be different now because it does have, uh, now the new scene do does have the the materials here. Now I, the material is just, better in cave because previously there was nothing there was no uh no textures here now if we go to the default folder it do have a bunch of stuff in the interface again this is not this is very lightweight by the by the, by the way um it does have uh two sounds and four images for the buttons the flat and the gradient now the material do have three materials now so have the default material which is large we have a uh, material for the terrain which is huge and then we have a uh, ground material which is intermediate in the textures i do have my textures here that you can see here so this is now default in cave the meshes same thing no change at all uh, and now it does have a default skybox and a ui toolkit this ui toolkit is nice uh i think i'll talk about this in a separate video but it's super cool and i'll I can't wait for you guys to see. So you can see here, oh, it was not supposed to import the proto in the first person. So I should look at, uh, I should fix this. Anyways, so it does have everything here that you need to start creating your project. Very simple, very straightforward. So this is the new new project in Cave. Let's go back to maybe the, I like the top down. For some reason, I really like top down games. and. And I will go ahead and make this camera actually a bit further away because I think it's too close to the player. So let's go ahead, move it back. And then of course I need to make sure that I adjust the height and distance a little bit. Here we go. Let's play the game. Yep. Maybe this is better. Let me know in the comments if this is better or worse. Anyways, so this is it. Uh, new updates for Cave. Let me know what you think about that. And if you wanna make, you, if you wanna check Cave, I will leave the link in the description. It's super nice um, and it's different. Oh, I died. Okay, <laughs> of course I died. Uh, I'm literally walking on the damage thing. Anyways, um, make sure you check the link in the description. The game engine is super simple. It's super lightweight. Super easy to learn. And um, the license, well, we can do whatever you want of it. Uh, and you don't have to pay me royalties. You have uh, the engine is super cheap. You and you pay us, and it's yours. So check check it out in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what what else you want to see, and I see you in the next video. Bye.